me for a look at economies, financial analyst Lionel Friedfeld. Good evening. Good evening, Lucy. So it's good to have you again. Thank and, you. you know, every day we're talking about Ukraine and Russia from the headlines, from the political aspects. Today we're going to talk about the economy aspect. Exactly. It's a key driver, actually, of the conflict. But just to give you one key figure, it's the GDP of Russia, which is 1,800 billion U.S. dollar, and the GDP of Ukraine, which is only 300 billion dollars. So you understand that Russia is huge compared to Ukraine. So, of course, in every war, we expect that the economy will be hurt. So it is hurt. It is hurt bad. And actually, if you look back in 1990, the GDP of Ukraine was $500 million, and in 2013, today, is uh, uh, $300 million. And we're talking so about a dec decrease, decrease exactly million, million dollar wow. over the past 24 years, which is uh, really important. And today, why there is this conflict? Because of the gas story. So it's affecting basically everyday life. Exactly, and the story is gas, because when uh, Russia decided to uh, inquire Crimea, Actually, uh, Ukraine declared that the Russia wanted to steal more than two billion cubic uh, um, meter of gas, and this is actually why one of the main driver why Russia wa wants to come into Ukraine because Ukraine has uh, a lot of uh, gas also. And one of the key questions, and today we see, you know, negotiation between the Russian and the Ukrainian. They're going to sit in Berlin, expected to be 19th of May with the European Union, with uh, Russia and Ukraine. Uh, uh, Russia is expected to decrease the price of gas that they're selling to, to, to Ukraine, and Ukraine wants or have to pay back the debt that they have towards Russia. And so if we're looking at uh, the Russian aspect, the United States is not helping the whole thing. It is uh, not, and actually it's the contrary, because it has huge implication on the economy. I'll take an example. Airbus, one of the largest company in aerospace and aircraft industry in Europe, okay, is manufacturing the space division satellites that they're selling to the Russians. But because there is U.S. component that comes from the United States, the, the, the United States are saying, we don't, we don't allow you to export the satellites to Russia because we're putting the veto because of the conflict. So what is the benefit of the United States putting the sanctions? They just want to put pressure on Putin, you know, to say you have to respect Ukraine as a whole country and it's not, you know, a former uh, Soviet Union territory. It's only a question of bargaining and putting together people at the same table to negotiate a deal. And one of the key drivers will be gas. Are we expecting Lionel to see the situation deteriorating more in the Ukraine? I think it's not uh, of, you know, like people, countries, you know, the, the, the common interest is to reach an agreement very soon because, you know, we have been speaking about this story for the past few months. You know, it's very delicate that it will continue for the next six months because you can see uh, financial market going down, Russian market going down, you have conflict and you have, you know, question with the BRICS emerging countries because of, of, of conflict like that. Of course. Yeah. Lionel uh, Friedfeld, thank you very much for thank this. You. And uh, veteran TV reporter Bob.